Hi everyone, welcome to Movie World. I'm Robert Walden. Today we've got a romantic caper movie. The movie is called The Thomas Crown Affair. Now old people like us may know that that was a movie that originally came out in 1968. That movie starred Steve McQueen and Faye Dunaway. This movie came out, the one I'm going to talk about immediately, came out in 1999 and it stars the dashing Pierce Brosnan. Pierce, I love that name. Pierce stars as a multi-millionaire investor who is a wheeler dealer named Thomas Crown. Now, Thomas actually also is an art lover. He likes a lot of good things. This is a very wealthy guy who has private planes, yachts, you name it. He goes on holidays, but he has a thing for art. So he visits one museum, a very famous museum, and he keeps on being fascinated by a painting. Ah, but this guy, despite all his money, wants more. He wants art, he covets art. So he decides on his own, with his own funds, to steal a valuable painting, a Claude Monet painting, no less. But it's worth apparently a hundred million dollars. So that's the caper. Mr. Crown with his crew, somehow with proper planning and great execution, managed to steal this beautiful painting, a priceless painting, right from under the eyes of all the security and all the cameras. How does he do it? Well, you're going to have to watch the movie to find out. But with a hundred million dollars at stake, the people that own the painting, the museum, the insurers are not exactly about to let this lie. They want to find out what happened. They want to find out who took that painting. So an ace investigator for the insurance company descends on the scene. She's played, and it's a she. Her name, is, I should say in the movie, it's Renee Russo. The lady's name is Catherine, and she's good looking, she's foxy, she's smart, and believe it or not, somehow this investigator manages to at least try to trace the theft onto Mr. Crown. So there's a cat and mouse game. There's a relationship that ensues as the investigator tries to call her the crook. Will it work? Who knows? But New York's finest is on the case. The movie, I guess, is set in New York, but none of the scenes in the museum where a lot of this movie takes place was actually filmed in a museum. The MGA movie just looks like it was in a museum. The sets are so authentic. It looks riveting. It looks real. It's exciting. And the romance between Thomas Crown and Catherine, well, it sizzles. Rene Russo is delightful. She's sexy. She's seductive. And Pierce, well, a good-looking guy, no doubt. These two have an affair of sorts. The question is, will she like him? Will he like her? Will they get it on? Yes, they do. It's sexy, a little bit of nudity, lots of spice, great dialogue, witty script, and it also has Dennis Leary as a police investigator trying to crack the case. The movie, yes, it's a little bit far-fetched. Maybe not as good as the original, but what can you say? Pierce Brosnan and Rene Russo are hot together. Things do heat up in a, fear, in a hurry. And the movie has a globe-trotting aspect because they go on vacation. This guy gives this woman anything and everything. The question is, will she fall for him or not? That's at the heart of this movie, along with the great caper. Also, I have to single out the director of this movie, who made it all possible, John McTiernan. The movie fans and movie buffs will know that name. He's the director that gave us Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. He gave us Last Action Hero. He also gave us the original Die Hard with Bruce Willis and the third Die Hard movie, Die Hard with a Vengeance. This guy knows action, and believe it or not, he actually knows romance and suspense. Wow, it's a very entertaining movie. And I gotta tell you, if you're looking for a nice romantic getaway inside your own home with maybe a loved one, you're gonna find The Thomas Crown Affair, I think, very appealing. I know my wife liked this movie a lot. I guess she liked Pierce Brosnan. Well, what can you do? On a scale of one to 10, I'm gonna give The Thomas Crown Affair, I'm gonna give it an honest eight. I like the movie, you will too. Thanks for watching. Robert Walden for Movie World, hope to see you again.